again. I just want to uh, welcome you to my measure by measure breakdown of the finger style intro for Fire and Rain. So I transcribed the part and I've practiced this against the recording, which is what I do. And uh, here you go. Here's my breakdown of it measure by measure. Okay, we're starting with measure one. We're sliding into an A shape uh, at the fifth fret. Now notice your fret markers are all weird because your capo is on at three. So the second fret is the first dot you see above the capo. The space in between is the third fret. We're going from four to six as a slide in with a drone on the A string. So here's our first slide in. Okay, I'll try that again. Here's our first slide in. And then I'm holding down the five with the pointer. Okay, now I'm going to slide down from that A to what's really an E minor. That's the second chord, and I'm going to slide that same note on the G. Now I've got a drone on the low E string. And then I've got an eighth note at the end. It's just the open D that is a voice leading note that takes us into the D in the next measure. So it's played here, but it sounds like it belongs to the next thing we're playing. We're playing a, a D. When we go into this next measure in measure three, he's playing the D with the pointer on the high E string in this weird grip. And he's doing that so that he can have a highly controlled hammer on and pull off on that first three notes. He's doing this so from the last note of the two, measure two, into the D, that's the beginning of measure three. Okay, and that's a hammer and pull. And then we're switching over to an A chord and we're using a similar weird grip. We're gripping the D string and G string with middle and ring and the pointer is going on to the B string and that's so that we can do this. Okay, that's the A string in measure three. And that pointer's hammering on on two. There's a tricky triplet at the beginning of measure four and it's not really too tricky, it just takes a little practice. We're playing uh, an open A chord. As you can see, my left hand is holding the open A in that weird James Taylor grip. And we're, the first triplet here is this. Da, da, da. And that's how he plays it. Just pick the G string, then uh, strum D, G, and B, and then pick the G string. And then we're playing this. Uh, pinky on B. And we're playing the drone of the high E. Pinky middle, pull off to the open B, and then down to the G string. So it sounds like this. And that's the end of measure four. And now we're staying on the A for measure five. And measure five, this, this little thing here is kind of foreshadowing the riff that's in the, uh, that's in the verse. So in, in, the, in the main verse, in the vocal verse, this riff is a central thing. And it's this. Okay, so here's all of measure five. Okay, which is written down there. And then we're going to an E, and this E is a, is a Lightning Hopkins E. That's uh, just playing these two notes here. So we're playing. And at the end, we take our fingers off to get the open D at the end of measure six. Right, again, measure six. Okay, here's measure seven. We're playing the G major nine. And again, this, uh, this A note is, uh, that I'm playing on the G string might be on the piano in the original recording. It's hard to tell. It's quite possible. I'm playing it on the guitar because we can. What we have to be careful of is that we're switching to a G note on the very next beat. So I'm going this pinch, and then I'm going open D and open G. So I have to right away take my pointer off the G string, and it goes like this. I put my ring finger down on the on the B string to get that D note. So here's that again, measure seven. Sorry. Okay. Now we put the pointer down in this weird G grip. We put the pointer down on the second fret of the E string, and that gives us a G major seven, which is the closing chord of the whole thing. And there you go. That's the whole thing in a close-up. I'll try and I'll run through it uh, 
as a fluid piece now again in the close-up. So there is my measure by measure breakdown of the Fire and Rent intro. Stay tuned. I'm going to take you measure by measure through the vocal verse of the song next and finally the chorus. So uh, come back and visit me again soon for the other components of the song. So I'm Bonner. This is the Bonner Guitar Channel and uh, I hope, to, uh, hope you'll visit me again soon.